One of the newer non-surgical therapeutic approaches for osteoarthritis are the stem cell therapies. Now for most people who have true osteoarthritis, they're, they're over the age of 50. And if they are in fact over the age of 50, it's more desirable to use adipose-derived stem cells than bone marrow-derived stem cells. How do we get the adipose-derived stem cells? We do a little mini liposuction. True. We bring the patients in, we draw their blood, centrifuge that, and get a specimen of platelet-rich plasma isolated from that. Then we bring the patient here, lay them on the table, supine but face up. In the area just below the umbilicus, which you would know as the navel or belly button, we prep, drape, and anesthetize using local anesthesia, an area about three inches by six inches just below the navel. We do liposuction and we acquire about an ounce and a half of fat. That is about the volume that fits in this tube. We centrifuge that and that separates into several distinct layers. There's an oily layer right on the top. There's a blonde fat area. There's a darker pigmented area of the fat, which appears to be the area most rich in the stem cells. Then there's a fluid layer below that. The fluid layer is filled with serum, like blood, the local anesthesia, and some debris. We have a way of getting just the stem cell rich fat portion isolated from the fat. We'll then take that person into the floral room if it's inside of a joint, or right here at the bedside if it's a joint near area that we would use ultrasound for guidance. And sometimes we would actually inject the fat back into the joint or back into the soft tissues just with local markings. We still have to use the platelets though to excite the stem cells through the growth factors that are, in, that are contained in the platelets. Now most people are very sore after these injections for about a week. We want you off all anti-inflammatories for a week before until five weeks after the last portion of the treatment has occurred. The average person about 17 to 21 days after the treatment sees a big difference. Then we bring them back in a month, if they're not truly painless, and do just the platelet procedure again. The wound locally is very small, does not require stitches. The area can bruise fairly badly, and we joke that some people look like we stapled an eggplant to them, but most people do not have much discomfort either during the procedure or after the procedure in the abdominal area. But they do have discomfort in the joint that's injected or the tissues that are treated. We want to be very forthright about that. Hope you've enjoyed learning about some cutting-edge technology about treating osteoarthritis without a joint replacement.